Good day, JPNs. Today, in this episode 5, we will learn about the basic accounting equation, which is about the assets equals liabilities plus equity. So, first of all, I am Joshua Emanuel D. Cornejo, second year, Bachelor of Science in Accountancy student in Dallas, Salipa, and you can call me Kuya Joshua. So in this session, we are expected to illustrate the accounting equation and establish a strong foundation in learning accounting through understanding of the basic accounting equation. So first of all, what is the accounting equation? The accounting equation is considered to be the framework or foundation of the entire accounting process. It is also the essential building block of accounting basis of all accounting systems and can be used to simply illustrate the double entry system of accounting and also known as the balance sheet equation na malalaman natin mamaya kung bakit balance sheet equation ang tawag dito. So overall, ang accounting equation ay ang tinuturing na pundasyon ng accounting processes mula sa pagre-record sa journal entry hanggang sa pagpe-prepare ng financial statements. So in order to understand the basic accounting equation, we need to learn first the basic elements of a business or kung ano nga ba ang bumubuo sa isang business. Ang una ay ang asset or ang tinatawag nating what it owns. So ibig sabihin ito yung pagmamayari ng business resource owned by the business or an economic entity at ang liabilities at owner's equity or yung what it owes or yung pagkakautang natin sa halimbawa ay sa ating sa mga banko at sa ating mga investors upang magkaroon ng proper functioning ng isang business. So for the first element is what it owns or ang tinatawag nating assets. Businesses own the organization's economic resources. These economic resources are used to help the organization generate revenues. In general, assets are known as the resource controlled by the entity as a result of past events and from which future economic benefits are expected to flow to the entity. These may include monetary or non-monetary items as well as physical and non-physical things. So, ibig sabihin, ang assets ay mga pagmamayari na kontrolado ng business or ng enterprise na kung saan ito ay ina-expect na makatulong sa operasyon ng business, lalong-lalo na na makapagbigay ito ng future economic benefits sa business as a whole in the short term and the long term run. Assets the first common, the most common of all examples is cash or yung pera na ginagamit ng business na itinuturing din itong pinaka-fluid na asset. Ang inventory or yung mga gina binebenta ng business na halimbawa ay sa merchandising, um, accounts receivable, yung mga accounts na matatanggapan natin na hindi pa nasasettle ng ating mga customers, kumbaga yung pagkakautang ng mga customers sa atin, land and buildings, yung lupa na pinatatayuan ng building na kung saan ito yung main location, main office, at pinaka base of operation ng business, mga vehicles used for delivery, and the furnitures and equipment na ginagamit sa mga office, and ng business as a whole. Moving on to the first part of the second element is yung what it owes or tinatawag na unang-unang tinatawag natin na liabilities. The first source of financing comes from debt. It is the result of the organization purchasing goods, services, or assets on credit. Debt also results from loan borrowings. 
liabilities are amounts due or the present obligations of a business to pay cash transfer assets or provide services to other parties in the future. So, from definition, liabilities are yung mga pagkakautang natin sa pagkakautang natin na ginamit natin upang magkaroon ng financing sa operasyon ng ating business katulad na lamang sa mga bangko at ating mga halimbawa ay suppliers. To illustrate, ito ang halimbawa natin. Let's say humiram ka ng 50 pesos sa kaibigan mong si BJ para sa iyong lunch. Magkakaroon ka ng liability or utang na 50 pesos na kung saan kailangan nating bayaran kay BJ. And in this situation, ang kaibigan mo yung creditor or yung nagpautang at ikaw ang debtor or yung umutang. For example of liabilities, ito ay yung pinaka mga common ay ang accounts payable at ang loan payable. Example ng accounts payable halimbawa ay order ka ng supply mula sa isang supplier na ang agreement ninyo ay on account basis or hindi cash ang pambayad nyo and babayaran mo pa ito in the future so you settled na on account basis na obligation mo itong bayaran in the future. So, liabilities are divided into two categories. Ito yung short-term liabilities and long-term liabilities. Ang short-term liabilities are expected to be paid off within one year or yung one year na agreement na babayaran. So, halimbawa nito yung mga accounts payable, yung loans, and the other one is the long-term liabilities or yung pagkakautang na expected na bayaran na mas matagal pa sa one year mula sa date of recording. So, for the next part of what it owes, ang next naman na element ay ang ating equity. The main source of financing usually comes from equity. Equity indicates the amount of financing provided by the owners of the organization. It also represents the amounts belonging to the owner. So, one example nito ay yung capital na malalaman natin mamaya kung bakit. So, for equity, let's have an example. Amber puts 10,000 into the business. Therefore, 10,000 has been injected into the business in the form of capital. This capital is expected to be used to fund a company's operation and make it possible for the company to achieve its objectives. So for the examples of equity, first is owner's equity or capital for a sole trader business. Second is partnership capital or equity for a partnership business. And, and last is the shareholder's equity for a company business or yung mga corporations na nag-incorporate na. So equity has the following components. Ang una ay ang initial investment or yung maituturing natin na capital na in-inject ng mga investors or ng owners sa pagtatayo at sa operation ng business. Ang pangalawa ay ang subsequent gains or losses na due to some event na nakapagbigay dito ng profit or ng loss due to revenues and the expenses that were incurred by the business in its operation and the withdrawals or dividends. Withdrawals as the word suggests ay yung mga winidraw ng owner mula sa kanilang investment at ang dividends naman ay yung mga share of the profit na dinistribute ng isang company sa mga investors nito. From the discussion of the earlier slides, the accounting equation is what it owns equals what it owes. Assets equals liabilities and equities. So, kung makikita natin, the accounting equation represents the relationship or yung relasyon between ng assets, liabilities, and owner's equity na kung saan equal 
At ito rin ang tinuturing na foundation ng accounting system dahil ibig sabihin nito ang each transaction, the total debits equals the total credits. And as stated earlier, the balance sheet is also, the accounting equation is also called as the balance sheet equation or yung mga titles na nakalagay sa statement of financial positions because yung mga ginagamit sa balance sheet ay yung mga account, accounts na assets, liabilities, and equity na kung saan ipinapakita ng balance sheet na ang asset ng isang organization or ng business ay equal to its liabilities at equity. There are different versions of the accounting equation na need din nating malaman. So, ang una ay ang asset emphasis or yung main na uh, accounting equation yung pinaka-common na assets equals liabilities and equity. At ang liabi liability emphasis naman ay ang liabilities is equal to assets minus equity. Ang equity emphasis ay equity equals assets minus So that's it for the episode 5 of the JPA tutorials. Thank you, God bless, and I hope you learned something. And also one piece of advice, don't give up, continue on fighting because sooner or later you'll achieve what you dream in this chosen profession.